Hello, everyone. My name is Alan, and we are Team Think More. And let's get started with a short introduction video of our project. Watching a brief introduction video. We will now proceed to the presentation to give you a further detailed explanation of our project. So, Think More Farm is a multifunctional, interactive, and mobile ready discussion platform. It is a place for people to make any kind of discussion where people come together to share their opinions. We have implemented some technologies in the project that might be different as compared to the other groups, such that we have used Linux.js, WebSocket, RebMQ, and Redis. Before we proceed further, Let's go through our website and check out the range of pages we have. This is the home page. As you can see from the layout, all the forum categories groups are placed right in the middle of the page with the current online user shown on the left and random post example to the right. Next, we have the category page showing an overview of all the posts that are posted in this category. When you click on the individual post, it brings to the page showing the content of the particular post. This is the profile page of the user. And this is the setting page to update any personal information of the user. The final composition is the admin page for administrators to manage the forum. Overall, the six pages make up the main structure of our forum. We have also made the UI UX design of our forum responsive and concise to different browser sizes. Contents are customized based on the screen size to show appropriate data structure accordingly. We have also used the MUI library alongside for our components development. Now we'll talk about all the overview of all the, all, the, all the functions available. It can be broken into the user site function and the admin site function. In the user site, the function includes browsing information across the various pages, within the category, post details, and so on. As you can see from the right, the demonstration here on the post pages, you can change the settings such as hiding the cover page of a post, limit the number of posts shown on the page, sorting the post based on the criteria in an ascending and descending order, Clicking into a specific post, all the comments left under the post by the users can be seen. As a user, you can also view people's profile by clicking, by clicking on any of the avatars you see. It brings you directly to the user's respective profile page. Using the search bar on the home page, you can also browse with users and posts easily by just typing in a few characters and get the results that you're looking for. As you see from the home page previously, the current online users are shown in real time. We use the WebSocket technology to implement this, such that WebSocket makes it possible for the long-lived persistent connection and save the status of current online users into Redis, the in-memory data structure store. Apart from browsing information, the key function of a user also includes creating an account, logging into their respective account. Email validation is also included when a user wishes to update their email or resetting a password. After you became a user, you can change any of your personal information, such as username and password in the setting page. Validation is included to check if a username is being taken or if there's a mismatch of password entered. The user can also customize their own profile page with profile image they like. It can be done from a user's profile page. Any image from the local system can be chosen and uploaded. It can also be cropped to the size that you're satisfied with. Next up. This is just a coverage of all the interactive actions available as a user. It covers a wide range from creating a post to setting up certain posts as a favorite one, leaving comments under people's posts, and following the users that you're interested in. All the actions done are being noticed in real time using the WebSocket technology implemented. Users will receive notification if anyone leaves a comment on their post, likes their post, or becomes a follower. The number of notifications is being updated in real time too. That covers all of the user site functions, and we will now move on to the functions that are available as an admin user. So, as an admin user, you can have one you can have one out of 
one or more out of the four types of management roles. The first one is user management. Envision admin user can manage the whole list of users, viewing the details and role accordingly. Content management can be done through editing the details of category available. New categories can be created through a button, prompting admin users to fill out the form and include the details for new category. Title and description for current category can also be changed and swapping the sequence of categories in a different order. Admin can also hide a certain post or pinning the post to the top of the page. Posts that are hidden can no longer be seen by any other users. Role management system is when admin can revert any users from the current level of permission or assign them to other levels. Permission levels include all the basic functionalities such as whether a user can create a post, post a comment, or upload an image. Another interesting function is where admin can customize the footer of the page based on their preference. Admin can update the current footer with any content that they wish to display. So that concludes all of the functions that are available on the forum. And we will now move on to discuss the technology that we have chosen to use in this project. So we start off with the front end technologies such as the Mature UI Library, TypeScript, Next.js, WebSocket, Formic, Redox, Just Testing Library, and ESLint. We have chosen to use Next.js with the first reason being Next.js is able to increment, enables incremental static drift generation, where static generation is used on per page basis. For example, we use the ISR for the home page and post page, which allows the update for these two pages without needing to rebuild the entire site. It is a famous framework to build super fast and SEO efficient websites. On the back end, we have Spring Boot, Docker, Minite, PostgreSQL as a primary database, Redis, RabbitMQ, Flyway, and Swagger. We have combined the use of Spring Security and Redis to enable the exchange and storing of real and fake JWT token. This can increase the user information security level as the data encoded in JWT will not be exposed. The overview of infrastructure for a project can be summarized here. We begin from the bottom left, which is the Jira software we have used as our main collaborative tools, which implemented the agile methodology as part of our project. Front end is being coded with Next.js technology, while back end with Spring Boot. CI/CD pipeline is being triggered by GitHub Action for the front for the back end, and Versa does the automatic deployment for the front end. The back end is containerized on AWS ECR and AWS ECS using Docker, with RabbitMQ for the email delivery, asynchronous email delivery, Postgres SQL as a primary database, Redis as a cache server, and the front end and back end communicate mainly via the RESTful API with the online users and the real-time notifications using the WebSocket. In addition, there's an object storage server using the min IO and the reverse proxy using the Nginx to configure the HTTP, HTTP SSL certification. Server data is collected using CloudWatch and parameters and then graphically displayed using Grafana. That is everything from our team. Thank you for listening, and we hope to see you later to discuss further details of our forum.